The use of this bridge is prohibited to any vehicle of which the laden weight exceeds 300 weight and to all cattle and horses. Before becoming a humans only bridge, this structure granted many a goat, cow, and horse safe passage. Named after Sir William Offer Cavanaugh, governor of the Strait Settlements, and built in 1869, Cavanaugh Bridge is the oldest surviving bridge across the Singapore River. Not at all. Cavanaugh Bridge is a solid piece of work. 200 feet long with a 25 foot roadway, built in Glasgow by cast iron manufacturer PNW McKellen, it underwent a stress test using a load four times its weight. When shipped to Singapore, it underwent a different kind of stress test. A troop of Madras sepoys were commanded to march up and down to ensure it was safe for use. Now that's heavy footfall, literally. Singapore was fast becoming the trading capital of the region, and that meant the bridge was really pushed to its limits, hence the sign. Pretty good, eh? See that? It's the Anderson Bridge, opened in 1910 to ease traffic congestion on the south bank of the Singapore River. Named after Sir John Anderson, also a governor of the Strait Settlements, Anderson Bridge was built with steel shipped from Britain. It stands slightly longer at 204 feet, but twice as wide, with two roadways of over 31 and a half feet each. Funny you should ask, this is the Elgin Bridge. Built in 1929 and named after Lord James Bruce Elgin, this bridge had concrete encasing its metal frame and was likely the fifth bridge to be rebuilt in this place. Talk about a hot spot. Aha! That's why all three bridges are being collectively gazetted as the 73rd National Monument of Singapore, as they each represent a period of growth. With the use of cast iron for Kavanaugh Bridge, steelwork for Andersons, and reinforced concrete in the Elgin Bridge, they are shining examples of the rapid development of new materials, progression of industrial technology, and shipping trade of the 19th and 20th century. And guess what? We've got a special someone here today to say a few words about the construction of these bridges. I'm Gavin McClellan, and my great-great-grandfather was Walter McClellan of P&W McClellan, a Glasgow engineering company that was one of the largest employers and manufacturers of engineering products in the time in Glasgow. And one of the most important products was the Kavana Bridge in Singapore. I think it's a symbol of resilience and integrity. I also think it's a seed for the future, which I hope will continue to make Singapore the great city that it is. I would like to say, well done, and thank you to the city of Singapore for looking after this bridge. How's that for bridging the gap? 